misogyny and double standards were a major reason Hillary Clinton lost to Donald Trump four years ago, Senator. T. Kane, Democrat Virginia, told Bill Hemmer reports Friday before claiming that presumptive Democratic vice presidential nominee Kama Harris is facing similar issues this time around. The worst thing about the campaign was being on a ticket and seeing just the misogyny and double standard applied to the first woman nominee, Kane, Clinton's running mate in 2016, told host Bill Hemmer, the not her up chants or double standards that are applied, I don't think you would see people chanting lock her up had you been a man. I just think that there were a whole set of both just outrageous slurs cast her way and double standards applied to her, Kane added. And, you know, women that I know have gotten used to double standards, being judged on their appearance. Or, about whether they're likable, when that's not raised about men. Kane told Hammer that I see some of that now starting up with Kamala Harris, too, with the president raising a question about whether she's a U.S. citizen because her parents were immigrants. On Thursday, President Trump did not reject a conspiracy theory Thursday that Harris, a U.S. citizen born in California, is ineligible to serve as vice president because her parents were born outside the United States, Trump slammed for not rejecting conspiracy theory Harris is ineligible for vice presidency however, Chapman University Law Professor John C. Eastman wrote a piece for Newsweek questioning whether Harris is a natural-born citizen because her mother was born in India and her father was born in Jamaica. During the Thursday press briefing, Trump appeared to fuel the argument by touting the author's credentials, saying, and by the way, the lawyer that wrote that piece is a very highly qualified, very talented lawyer. Kamala Harris, people said, is she too ambitious? Who's ever said about a male politician that their ambition was something that should be held against them? Kane said. Sees are double standards. Some of them are hateful and some of her very subtle and in subconscious. Click here for the Fox News app the senator added the US. Had a bad track record when it came to electing women. The United States is good at so many things, including an awful lot of things about women, but we have a bad track record of electing women to higher office, he said. In Congress, for example, our Congress is 76th in the world with 24% women. We're tied with Afghanistan, but we're behind Iraq. We're behind Canada. We have about half the percentage of Mexico. So I think this is going to be an excellent opportunity to finally break a glass ceiling that I hoped we would break four years ago. Fox News Alex Poppers and Brooke Singman contributed to this report. Let's block ads. Why? Show your love for him. Click the link in description. Thanks for watching.